<laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to or welcome back to the episode of Purple Pikmin Priority Pikmin 2. <laughs> I said it in the wrong order, but you know what? It's fine. We'll go with it. We're back in Perpex New Pool now because we have three more treasures remaining in the overworld that is, and one more cave to explore as well. And it's gonna look really funny because they're in well just dead purple priority. We're actually going to ignore the purple pick for now because we're going to be heading into the water, but also destroying one of the electrical gates. That's why I'm grabbing out the purples? Uh, pl purples. Blues. <laughs> and a bunch of yellow. So hopefully this will be enough. I forgot you guys are right here. We're just gonna destroy you and you are going to ignore our Pikmin, please, and thank you. At least only one was. I knew these guys are gonna be responding. These guys are just revenge for poor Louie for defeating him on the second episode off camera, which is the first time I've actually had that happen. And I don't know why this wall right here I always thought it could only access with yellow Pikmin, but now we just use any Pikmin to get up here. I think the reason being is because in the first game, this wall right here really would only be for young pigments. I don't know. But what's something like that that you always thought would need a, a pigman or a captain in order to actually access discard just discarding, not including anything that involves glitches. But now it's time to try to safely get all our pigment onto this bridge. And if any of our yellow pigment do end up in the water, like that guy right there, we can at least throw some blue pigment into the water, unless that just doesn't actually help it. <laughs> there we go. They're doing their best to try to get them back up, which I very much appreciate. I, just, I feel bad when it happens. And shoot, they score! Huzzah! Good job, little uh, blue pigment. Now let's make sure that they separate and not into the water. And we actually have the uh, eraser, which I think is funny how we just need an eraser in order to uh, <laughs> get onto the wall. Which I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's rubber. And. And ignore that way. Okay. I guess we're just going to uh, be destroying some grass there. We're actually going to head the other way now to destroy yet another gate, but also to get some berries. Hello, Wallywog. Right over here, we see a beautiful Wallywog trying to crush my Pikmin, but unfortunately for it, it got engulfed in stone. Much as many other enemies, including the strongest of the enemies, the bosses, have succumbed to. And over here, we got ourselves some brilliant little water doubles, which have gotten swarmed in order to try to eat the Pikmin, which is unfortunate for it. A very, very bad mistake. And now we're actually just going to leave some of our Pikmin right here because we're going to be bringing some white Pikmin over here eventually to get the one treasure that's just in the ground right there. And here is another Wally Wog, which these guys shouldn't cause any issues. And I like to help just going right around we got right there. <laughs> and here's the main reason why I got so many of our uh, blue Pikmin. And I always feel bad for these little tadpoles right here, because after destroying this gate, this gate, after destroying the gate, Olimar and the president destroy the surrounding engulfed cave, so they can explode that soon enough. And unfortunately for the little tadpoles, they are now deserted. I also love how this enemy right here just doesn't care about the Pikmin and also doesn't give a crap about being in the water or not. It's just like, eh, just another normal day of reflexing pool. Like, for all I know, that it could have just came in through land. Like, we don't really know much about the enemies other than, like, yes, he's good. 
No, this is bad. <laughs> and now, still not grabbing out a purple Pikmin. We get to grab out all of our white Pikmin because, uh, well, again, just treasure right here, but also another treasure that also is in the ground. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of treasure that's just ready to be pulled out of the ground, but I, I didn't realize how many there actually were until I thought about it. Lots in the cave, and at least two, maybe, no, th at least three, maybe four or five treasures in the overworld as well. And the last one is right here in this corner. Thank you, Wallywog, for ignoring the Pikmin. I appreciate it you, but we are going to have to get rid of you, though, because you are going to try to crush our Pikmin. And ideally, you don't do that, plus we have plenty of sprays to, uh, you know, lend a hand to. Now we'll lend those guys a little bit of a hand, and they shouldn't be staying here just by themselves. You know what? We'll just do that. I've got plenty. Where's the majority? Actually, the majority of it was big Pikmin, thankfully. Another thing that I like about those guys is that generally they just, again, ignore a Pikmin. And... It's not until I think they grow up, because I think it's right now that little dude is in this juvenile stage. Eventually, it'll be lured towards the light, which will be the boss for this cave that we're going to go into pretty soon here. <laughs> yeah, Pikmin, gather around. Not into the water, please. And that poor little thing is just going to get destroyed now, apparently, because the Pikmin just want to destroy literally everything in your sight sometimes. At least it's not as bad as it is in Pikmin 1, which you, you literally just had to step on towards something in order for it to be like, yeah, I hate you now, I'm going to fight you. Now we're just going to see... Good. That is good enough out of there. Now... Switch these guys and back up. I like how there's just like one blue Pikmin that was just chilling with the white Pikmin right there. There we go. My all right, you are staying with me, please. And all this is gonna go up. Oh, it's an onion. I love that. I love it. It's onion in the ground, but there was no roots. So does that mean somebody just decided to just to dig that up? <laughs> yeah, you go, guys. You go, beautiful little Pikmin. <laughs> now it's time to get what is, in my opinion, the scariest one. Not just because of these little jerks right here trying to eat our Pikmin. Almost successfully, but thankfully not successfully. <laughs> and it's only scary because we're going to have to bring our uh, yellow Pikmin into basically the water. Like, borderline into the water. I'm also just going to put this guy to stone. So, again, we could just be left alone. And I forgot how many bridges were in here. It feels like Rebecca's Pool has a lot more bridges than it did in the Distant Springs. And it's the same stage, which I think is kind of cool how it's the same stage. But, like, why is there so many? <laughs> why am I questioning it? Like, maybe somebody came in here and decided to just make more bridges. Like, it could have really just been these, these wasp dudes that just decided to, like, hey, we want to bring a lot more, uh, big things around here. Okay, so at least we got that bridge down, and all we really, really need at that point is just to break that electrical gate, and then we'll be, be golden. <laughs> but man, it's like I forget how separate they are. And normally I try to plan out and separate the captains, but I totally forgot that we didn't set up that <laughs> treasure at all. I like setting up for going into the cave, but on the plus side, we are allowed a lot more prepared. And, hey, you got treasures out of that day. I love Perplexing Pool. Seriously, just one of my favorite areas. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. My allowance doubled, and it's all thanks to my papa. After all, he's a great captain, but when in the 
But when did the brother be able to go home, huh? Oh, that's so cute. I love how he's cheering on and happy that he gets his own stuff, but obviously he's worried about his own dad. Just really wants to see him. The, the, all of them are literally landed on the planet and then instantly got sent back here. It's like the captain. Could he even just go by himself or with somebody else? He had to drag Oliver back here with him. <laughs> I am so sorry, literally. Um, I'm just gonna call it Honeydew Enemy. I know it's not even Honeydew, but that's just what I think of. Did not mean to try directly into it, though. And I love this one dude just trying his best to get that treasure. Unfortunately for us, it's just barely out of reach, but like, hey, that's fine, we, uh, we could do that, and we could also get more berries. Just hoping that the pigment wants to get the wall down, I'm not gonna get instantly destroyed. <laughs> that's not what we want. I'm also surprised there's no enemies right here trying to get this little guy right here. <laughs> I loved how that means on each map, there is berries. So I'm pretty sure in the first map, there's also still some berries. I could be wrong about that, but you could still get nectar via the eggs. The fact that this is nectar in the eggs, I mean, ne nectar makes sense because that's yolk. But the fact that you get sprays from the eggs, it just kind of interests me. Like, like how does it get in there? Like, it's juice. Like, did, did, did the enemy... A creature, whatever it's supposed to be in it, just explode? Are they my tight juices? Like, what? Like, what do you what do you think is the reason behind there? It could be an answer that actually seems like it would be correct, or it could just be a very goofy answer. <laughs> now, so close. Oh. Oh, yeah, that, that's why I decided to, like, switch here, because, um, Pikmin and it were just, I knew we were just going to go to directly in there. <laughs> And once again, I just love the music switch. It just added more instruments. I forgot what the instrument is in the background. Like, dun, 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 dun. That probably does not help. <laughs> but do I, I still did that though. Then now it's time to set up because that is literally the last treasure that we needed on Overworld. We are just this close last time to actually getting that. And it's like, maybe we just didn't go back here in the first place and get them. So I'm pretty sure just grabbing all of these would have just cleared the depth completely, but I, that's fine. There we go. Now we head towards the cave as they grabbing it. They get the music! I love it! I love it so much! <laughs> no. Oh, okay, let's go to try to switch the, the captains. Is This music also changes, which I think is kind of fun. I'm getting, I'm getting turned around here. Also, are these supposed to be pipes? Like, it would make sense it's supposed to be like pipes or something like that, considering I'm pretty sure out here it's supposed to be a pool. If not, an outdoor bathtub. Because I know there's outdoor baths, baths and stuff in Japan. Okay, let's get to see. Is that actually the last treasure? It is. I'm surprised these guys are still here. And now into the shower room. I actually went back to get some, uh, I would say pink, <laughs> pink purple pigment. <laughs> I actually ended up going back and getting some white pigment here. Now do a high five, because why not? High five strikes some good luck. And the reason why I brought them here is because poison is a hazard. And, okay, oh, wow, they just barely missed getting into that. I'm so glad that they did miss. And of course, there's this dude right here trying to like destroy a Pikmin right here. Like, I don't think so, buddy. I think you are just gonna be the one to get KO'd. And there are lots of boulders here, so we're gonna have to be very careful in navigating this area to make sure that we don't get squished. Because I don't know if these boulders in particular are here just from the captains or if they appear just because there's Pikmin nearby. 
Because there is plenty of those kind of like hazards that only show up with certain ones. And now we got ourselves. I want the zester, the citrus squisher. I forgot what they're actually called. <laughs> and that was the only treasure for this map. So we'll see how quickly we can actually get this done. I'm hoping fairly quickly because it would be really cool just to get one of these caves done really, really quick. They say saying this whole cave only has like seven floors. It really just depends on how many treasures that we actually encounter. Now another high five, I guess we're high fiving the Pikmin too. I mean, why not? Good job, little purple Pikmin. Now we gotta go with me. Whew, okay, cool. I'm hoping that we won't have to, to use any of our Pikmin for their element reasons, but we'll see about that. There is 14 treasures in this, so we're bound to at least get one treasure that's stuck behind something, but... Oh! Ooh, that poor little bread bug just got absolutely destroyed. So, I really like how lonely the music sounds, or rather, how the music in here makes this one cave, or one floor, seem so isolated in comparison to the rest of it. I'll get another one of my purple pigments there. I guess we could just keep some of these corpses down here, because the more pigment on here, the better, and the quicker the gates will go down. But thankfully, these gates, unlike the overworld ones, actually go out, or rather, get broken really quickly. I, I like how that dude just kind of like, hopped and like looked down, like, what just happened there? <laughs> Suddenly, I shout for no reason. Yeah, you go, little dude. Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork makes dreams work. And, okay, go on. Thank you, only these two treasures in here, unless there is a pretty treasure somewhere that I'm just not aware of. But also, I was gonna ask what made this right here, and I realized there was soap here. But that's really round soap, which makes me wonder if somebody had just carved in a circle and then had it drop down there, it stayed. But also, how deep is this bathtub? Like, are we in the pipes that are outside, or are we, like, I was gonna say the sewers, which I mean, who knows, we could be in the sewer. <laughs> Or maybe it's just this, like, multi-level bath house, for all we know. But, it's mild soap. Almost a mild soap, because the way the things are all aligned. And cool. So that was two. So three out of fourteen, baby. Making decent pace. <laughs> and down here, we see ourselves a water temple. I don't know if this is in its natural habitat. But we also see one of the shrimp... Enemy creatures, I, I don't remember the names of them. I went over our way away, and this beautiful jelly float right here trying itself desperately to inhale a pigment to consume. Unfortunately for it, it has gotten dragged down by the mighty purple pigment. It unfortunately did not stand a sand chance, rather not a sand, and it has given us one of our treasures. And so unfortunately, need two purple pigments to carry. Alas. <laughs> Ooh, double stun. I do feel bad for the telephones and up. Ah, yep. There is some in the water, unfortunately for them. Wait, did you really just stuck up one of our pigmen? And I thought there was a white Pikmin with us. <laughs> I don't know why I thought there was a white Pikmin. Oh, there, there was a white Pikmin. Where did that white Pikmin come from? Like, what? What? I, I'm not gonna question it too much. <laughs> I ain't gonna question it. Too. I was gonna make sure that there's no treasure in this room. It's like there, oh, there is on that side. Yeah, nice try, Jelly Fault. You're not gonna get a Pikmin today. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make sure that you don't. <laughs> Oh, hello, Water Dumple. How are you, my friend? Fortunately for you, you decided to hop down at the worst spot. Now it's time to trust and hope the, um, 
the, the, the uh, AI here, the pigmen will decide to make a safe path back and not go right towards the shrimp enemy. <laughs> I'm just gonna call them a shrimp enemy because I obviously just totally forgot what the name actually is. <laughs> but hey, that's okay. On the plus side, we know that these guys are going to be safe and we're trying to keep our purples. Oh, hello, Wallywog. I don't know why I'm trying to uh, get you from down here. I love how it just went over the gate, so it just seemed as hassle of trying to avoid it. That way, it got awfully cold, so we have to get on our Pikmin, though. Which is a no go. And good! The Pikmin made it here safely. Huzzah! Also, hello, Catlet. How are you? You are our interviewer for today. I hope you're doing well. You're not doing too well? No, that, that's fair. The, the other half of you is kind of gone. I'm, 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 I'm sorry for the breakup, but sometimes it just happens. You have to move on. It's plenty of fish in the sea. But you are looking mighty beautiful and mighty shiny. <laughs> just all the interview you want to do, really? No, that's fair. Busy can. Busy can't live. Busy can't live. Can't blame it. <laughs> Hello, scrumptious shell. How are you doing? I don't know if you have a pearl down below you, but uh, that's fair. You don't really need to look at your belly side. I hope you're doing well. You are looking stunning with the beautiful brown color. What? You don't want to do a street interview? I mean, that's fair. I just, I just wanted to ask you one thing, though. How do you do your beauty routine? It's all natural? Well, that's awesome. I'm glad. Happy for you. But thank you for the quick interview. <laughs> oh, that's right. Subtle level 4 is a rest area. Although there are still plenty of things that we can actually like, get. You know what? Since there is butterflies and this is an option to get some sprays and stuff like that, we're gonna grab all our pigment on us. Typically, I uh, wouldn't just let them do their own thing. I don't know which way. No, this is the end. You're gonna fall down anyways. It's, it's <laughs> the game is deciding, kind of deciding that for us. <laughs> and that took. It's gonna say just usually there's like a one leaf up here. And can we actually get this purple pigman up here? We can. Beautiful. Good job, little purple pigman. I, you're having troubles actually getting it. That's okay. We're just okay. There we go. Sometimes spamming to get pigman on that side is just the way to go. It is also a Mamuta in here as well. But this is the reason why I wanted to bring other things other than Purple Pikmin. So I don't know if the Purple Pikmin can actually reach up to get these butterflies. And here's the beautiful Maple Leaf. I always love the way uh, they this is like both Japanese and Canadian maple leaves. It's slightly different, but very much the same. I think maple leaves are actually a little bit bigger. Never actually seen a Japanese maple leaf in person, so not sure if the leaves are actually skinnier or not. But I like how it's called a, a beryl frippery. So I read it as flippery. And now here's our chance to actually get some more yellow pigments because we have 60 of them. There's only one, really. Only one treasure in this room. I thought there was multiple ones, but hey, that's okay. Hey, we don't need multiple ones. Okay, I see, I see. We'll just bring us right over here. Don't know why that pipe would bring us elsewhere, but that's fine. I still have to wonder if we wait for long enough if those butterfly creatures would actually come back or not. I don't believe they do, at least not in caves. I could be wrong. If if you know if that's a yes or no, please let me know. I'm very curious to know about that. <laughs> now level 5 still going strong. And now is where things will get a little, a little bit more dangerous. Ooh, we can get some more uh, purple pigment here as well. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna get this guy destroyed without our purple pigment because I'm kinda just too lazy to actually grab them here to be honest. Oh, and now okay, you guys can destroy it. You guys are already going out and doing that for me. Anyway. Excuse me! 
I leave my Pikmin alone for one second, and you have to come around here and be a jerk about it. Like, I don't think so. In fact, you're going to give us some nectar. Thank you. All the Pikmin can use some nectar over here. And now you're probably going to hear some growling and maybe hissing from Knuckles. Because Dahlia is trying to play with him, and he does not really know how to play. <laughs> so... Just know that everything's okay in the background, and of course, I'll be keeping an eye on this too if that's going to be the case. <laughs> but if you have a cat, you kind of just understand what's going on anyways. Especially knowing, like, how your cat hisses. Because he also hisses and growls when he plays. really hilarious how the gates in caves actually just are flips and compared com compared and compared to the overworld like the blues are the <laughs> yes the blue gates the white gates actually take a little bit longer than the dark gray slash black gates in caves I don't know if that's actually the case or not but it kind of feels like that is the case <laughs> And Yoohoo Cola. I like it. I like how it's just Yoohoo. I don't know why it makes me laugh so hard, but it but it do. <laughs> That's perfect amount. Now it's time for you to get destroyed because you are just merely looking at my Pikmin. But also because you're just getting destroyed anyways. <laughs> oh yeah. No. 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 Things are just going into chaos here. I'm trying to get back up so I can save my, my Pikmin here, thank you very much. I am sorry little dice, this normally goes a bit more smoother, and I forgot that we don't actually have the means of getting ourselves um, protected by fire. I'm surprised all our Pikmin survived right there, but I'm not going to complain. Yeah, just in the background. <laughs> like, I guess this music is just, just my vibe. Which honestly, it is because I actually play a lot of Pikmin music just on my breaks at work. Because I go on walks on my second break, not so much on lunch break because I only have so much time. I love disputing on Disputing video game music. I've actually been listening to a whole lot of Zelda music. If you know Zelda Hero, you can find them on Spotify. I actually really love their work. It's just orchestrated and I don't remember what the cover says. I think it's like Celtic music. So I totally forgot to give high fives. So plenty of high fives and apparently a punch too. That is a captain stealing one, so at least we could just ignore that. Hello Wally Wog, you are just like we we didn't even need to step out of the room and you're already going after us. Hello, dude. Are you gonna wake up? You're not gonna wake up for once. We have to have a sleepy boy. Hello? Hello? There we go. Now it wakes up. And we're just going to do that. Like, I know we don't need to, but I would still rather defeat it. And who is with that? Thank you for giving us a uh, random slurpy slurp right there. <laughs> I don't know why I call it slurpy slurp. And we're just barely off with the president in order for him to actually absorb that. And by absorb, I mean drinking it. It could also be absorption for all we know. I like how we can also get some more white Pikmin down here. It's too bad there isn't like one giant treasure that we can actually dig up with like 100 white Pikmin. It's just like we need 100 purple Pikmin for which might be our last treasure that we collect. I'm not too sure. She probably won't be the last treasure that we collect. And I want to know if there's anything in this corner, because I know sometimes there's just eggs that just drop from the ground. Or rather, drop from the sky, not drop from the ground. <laughs> and I don't think this really has, but whoa, hello, Doodlebug. There is something. It's just not what I expected. 
we'll take it. Now we just gotta wait for its farts to just disappear, though. <laughs> I just I love how these enemies just fart. Oh, just right. We're not going to bring all the Pikmin with us. In fact, we're just going to get... I guess the president I was going to just try to discard. Or not discard. Try to separate them. Mostly because there is one explosive weedle here somewhere. Or well, by weedle, I mean we <laughs> Just don't know exactly where it is. This surprises me every time. Maybe it's not here. I thought there was one here. Oh, nope, there is. Hello, big boy. How's it going? Goodbye. <laughs> Feels so bad for them, though. Like, again, like, that's just cruel nature. Just having them be ones that is exposed. Take. How is that a defense mechanism? And do they try to attack each other? <laughs> huh? Now I'm just gonna stun this dude. Don't need to get defeated. Oh, dentures. Oh, I forgot about this little guy too. Just stunning them so they don't pick up the treasure here. Oh, especially saying this is a logical one. Definitely want to make sure that the little guy is stunned. I guess they was trying to go towards the corpse anyway, so we'll just let them do that. I always feel bad defeating the Weedles. Well, it's just the ones that we absolutely need to. And now, uh, this next floor is going to be the boss floor. Which used to be my least favorite boss. But still, kind of is, but for different reasons. I used to think it was a super hard boss. Until I learned, really, it doesn't take that much for it to actually get defeated. Snapple! I'm pretty sure... Reject if this okay, I thought he said rejected. <laughs> like reject a snack. I'm pretty sure that's applesauce. I'm not really sure. But here's this boss. But now it's just my least favorite boss just because there has to be a least favorite boss. Like actually maybe the the giant lobster like boss might be my least favorite now. I'm not really sure. But time to set up though. And thankfully this, well not thankfully, unfortunately this one doesn't have like the best setup in terms of being able to make sure that we can get a safe spot, but that is okay, so all we need to do is just find a way to get ourselves separated from different captains, because this one only goes after its light, which makes me wonder if you just want to eat the light and ignore the captains, or if they really just want to eat the captains? I don't know. Maybe they go after things like anglerfish. And hello, big boy, how's it going? Yeah, that's right, you are going to look away. We could also just stun it. By stunning it, I mean, we could just... No. Okay. Hello. There's a beast here. We could just use our juice in order to actually get this thing, but that's fine. We should be able to get this with one shot. And, 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 yeah. One cycle, baby. I love it. Now we're just gonna get this bridge down. That's right. <laughs> I guess we could have went in here and got this before we got the uh, the one that had to do the one treasure with the electric gate. Because we could have just used this in order to actually get the big bin more closer to us. But oh well, it's fine. Now we're just gonna grab this little corpse because we can. <laughs> Now it was fun, and it was actually a very, very, <laughs> a fairly quick um, spell looking as well. It took us about 30 minutes. Could have been a lot quicker, but it could have been a whole lot longer though. We just had a really good RNG with some of the treasures, which, I mean, I'll take. <laughs> amplified amplifier. I love how it's an amplified amplifier that kind of looks like a really big Mickey Mouse with tiny little ears. Or something like that, we turn it around like this. Looks like a little mustache. I don't know why I see it like that. No! This looks like Onwar. Or Feet. <laughs> From Peach's Princess Peach's Showtime. But I think for now, I shall leave it here. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Slap that subscribe button and turn it down in the comments down below. Do what you do, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm looking forward to it so much. But also it's just Pikmin. It's Pikmin 2. Pikmin's are like one of my favorite franchises actually. So 
last question, which I will probably actually put in the comments down below, it's going to ask, what is one of your favorite video game series? I would love to, to know more about that. <laughs> but, anyways, before I ramble on, peace. <laughs>